for the past couple of weeks since the war has started in Ukraine, it has been very difficult for the staff. The volume of a business significantly increased. On an average day before, usually the manager shift is somewhere close to eight hours, nine hours. These days, most of us are working 10 to 12 hour days. It's very hard to be Ukrainian and not living in Ukraine. So you have to be physically present over here and still go to the job and do your job, but your mind is elsewhere. My name is Vitaly Desetnichenko. I'm 30 years old. I'm Ukrainian and I work at Veselka restaurant as a front of the house manager. Veselka started as a small coffee shop in 1954 by a Ukrainian immigrant. Now Veselka is definitely the biggest and the most popular Ukrainian restaurant in the New York City. Originally, I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. I came to New York in fall of 2012. Growing up in Ukraine was uh, much different from living over here. I'm the only kid in the family. My parents were taking really good care of me. I got some decent education. I did not have much to worry about, even though we were not coming from money. As soon as I graduated college, I got my bachelor's degree in economics. And then anywhere I go, I'll get a job that would pay me three, four, five hundred dollars. So I decided to look for opportunities in a different country. I started at Veselka as a busser and a part-time delivery person. Over the almost 10 years I've been there, I went through every single position in the front of the house and I ended up working as a manager. Working as a manager at Veselka means that you might not be doing anything at this particular given time or you might be doing everything at the same time. Some of the job responsibilities are overseeing the place, overseeing the dining service, overseeing the takeout greeting and meeting guests. Follow me this way, please. <laughs> Helping them to sit down, making sure that they enjoy their meal, making sure they leave happy, and then uh, just, just manage the staff. Some days are uh, nice and quiet, everything goes well, nice and smooth. Some days are very busy. When we used to be open 24 seven, we would be really busy. People would be coming in from bars, restaurants, clubs. Four o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the morning, we would still have a line outside. And now it's different. As the uh, pandemic started, we unfortunately we had to close the overnight hours. We had to close for dine-in service for some time. During the pandemic, when we closed, we had a very small crew. And I actually worked for three months straight. I worked at the grill. I was making sandwiches, cooking eggs. Also, as we reopened, we were only open for takeout for a certain period of time. We lost some of the staff. Vladimir Putin announcing late last night that military operations have begun inside of Ukraine. For the first couple of days after the war started, I, I was doing nothing but checking news on my phone, trying to call my parents, trying to hear if they were okay. I, I was not getting any sleep, I was not getting any food. I just couldn't rest and my mind was, uh, my mind was in Ukraine, even though I was physically present over here. When the war started, my mom had to go to the small village where my grandmother lives. My grandmother's 83 years old, she has uh, problems with blood pressure. At the same time, my dad is staying home for now. I call them during the day before they go to sleep, and then I call them before I go to sleep as when they wake up in Ukraine. Yes. Hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the only question I have every time is the same question. Are you guys okay? That's, that's the only thing I need to hear. I don't care about prices for gas, I don't care about anything else, I just want to hear that they are okay, and that's it. Okay. 
I was just back home in Kiev in January. It was my 30th birthday. I had a very good time with my family. I spent most of the time with them. I saw some of my friends. I have a feeling that that was the last time I had a chance to see my family for a very uncertain period of time. And um, I'm really glad I made that decision. A couple of days into the war, the owner of Veselka decided that all the funds coming from the Borscht sales at Veselka will be donated to the need of the Ukrainian army. So now, obviously, every, every Borscht we sell in-house or take-out, the funds will be transferred to the Ukrainian government for the army needs. We worked out a list of materials and things that uh, Ukrainian people need right now, such as flashlights, batteries, some medical supplies. We print out a lot of pieces of paper that saying, hey, if you dine in with us, if you're just coming by, if you're willing to help Ukrainian army, you can bring these items. And uh, I was really surprised about how people picked up on this idea and people been bringing things constantly, every day, nonstop. Almost every day we have a line that that's, we get in full around 10 o'clock in the morning. And then there's a line standing out there all day from 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. Before the war started in Ukraine, we would normally serve six to 700 guests on a weekday. Now the number can go as high as 12 to 1500. So the weekday volume of business has doubled. Veselka has become a place where people can just come in and gather together where people are looking for, for support from other people and they can, they can share their thoughts. Other people are trying to show their support in Ukraine and a lot of people just want to show that they actually care. I was very surprised by the response of the New York community. It's, it has been great. I, I never expected anything like this. Over the past nine and a half years that I spent at Veselka, Veselka has become my, my second home. Unfortunately, I don't have a family in the U.S., so people that work at Veselka has become, people have become my, my American family. And then uh, I just read the business as, uh, as my own business, and uh, I always try to do what works the best for business uh, because I just, I just care about it.